After Amanda Waller's daughter was abused and murdered by an individual named Candyman, her husband could not bear the loss and pain while her murderer walked free on Earth. He took laws into his own hands by going after Candyman himself, but at the cost of losing his own life in the process. Amanda Waller begged some police officers not to label her husband a criminal so her family can still get his life insurance. However, they informed her about the gravity of what her husband did by going after a man in a public space. Because her daughter's murderer wore a mask, they could not be sure it was actually Candyman who was responsible. As a result, her husband died in the commission of a felony and will not receive justice for his death. This was the beginning of her journey to amend the Constitution so things like this won't ever happen to innocent people. Moreover, she began targeting metahumans because she wanted democracy. She believed the metas introduced new threats to humanity's existence and portrayed them as the bad guys while appearing to be the heroes humanity desperately needed to seize power over them. She also knew they possessed immense power unlike humans, and when they begin to do whatever they like, they would become slaves to the so-called heroes who saves them. But she completely misunderstood. She never knew it wasn't all about the power. Her ideology came from the pain she felt when her husband and daughter didn't get the justice they deserved after they were murdered. In her head at that time, she thought if she had the power, she would do whatever it takes to prevent such things from occurring. Furthermore, it is only those that have power that have the will to make a change.